Now a makeover for the jungle. It was an area that used to be a homeless encampment. KCAL News reporter Rick Montanez is live in Thousand Oaks to tell us about this morning's cleanup. Rick. And Amy, good morning. The cleanup is underway right now. Several agencies here. You can see the Ventura County Sheriff's Department down there. There's also Caltrans crews and the Highway Patrol all out here trying to pick up the trash and things. What we want to show you, though, because this used to be a huge encampment, and we were talking with CHP investigators. Look at this here. They say this was dug out. This was part of an encampment that was built around this and that a drug dealer was using this hole in the ground that they dug out to hide their stash, essentially. So this is what they law enforcement was dealing with out here. They say there was a lot of crime, a lot of drug use, and that's why it was so important for them to get this area cleaned up. This area known as the jungle, which is what the people who lived here actually gave it that name. This is along Highway 23, and uh, it's a big effort, a beautification project, but also, like I mentioned, to reduce crime. So later this morning, they're also going to be painting a quarter mile stretch of the freeway that they need to cover the graffiti up. A lot of people have complained that they could see it from their backyards. This is state property, so Caltrans is in charge of the whole operation. This is between Jans Road and Page Lane, again, along uh, Highway 23. The population living in this area grew exponentially, according to Caltrans, because they acquired this property during the height of the COVID pandemic. With the help from the sheriff's department, people in these encampments were offered social and housing services before they were forced to leave here. Caltrans says it's trying to give back to the community during this particular project. And the CHP says with so many encampments, people's lives were at risk here. At one point, we had uh, approximately 20 encampments and some of them were significantly large and took up a lot of space. Uh, there was illegal fires that were occurring in the area. Uh, and actually caught some of the trees and, and brush on fire. And we're also using a chrysalis program, which is, a, you know, people who find, had a hard time finding jobs that they're going to be part of the Rook crew to uh, clean this area up. And so this is some of the graffiti here that will be covered up later today. They, again, a quarter mile stretch. It is a lot. And then you see some of the stuff that they've been picking up here this morning. We spoke with a few people who live around here. They didn't want to speak with us on camera, but they say they are very happy for this cleanup. Again, because it's uh, not only an issue of trash and, and things like that, but the CHP says people are running electricity and irrigation out here. Things that are just dangerous because none of it is done up to code. So they're trying to return this area to its natural state. Reporting live in Thousand Oaks, Rick Montanez, KCAL News. All right, Rick, thanks so much.